Today I have very exciting news for you guys. Well, they are very exciting for me. Probably less exciting for you, but I hope that you can be happy for me on my behalf, on their behalf. That's a good one! You probably noticed, what are those goodies in front of me? Well, for 2020, 20, 2020, 20, for 2023 season, Haltech is gonna sponsor my building the fastest, fastest Clio in the UK. I, I'm speechless, I'm lost for words. So all of this is gonna go into the Clio. So would you like me to go through each one separately or would you like me to just kind of unbox everything in one go? You know what to do in the comments, leave me. Actually, you know what? I think I will do each one separately just to show you guys what are those items. But let me quickly run you through what we have here. Wow. Okay, first is this item. It's quite a lot to go through. And before, before I even go into any details, Haltech, thank you very much for seeing the vision, the vision that I've approached you with building the fastest Renault Clio in the UK. You really like my approach, how I do everything 95% of the time myself, um, including the wiring, obviously, we'll go into a detail. Um, and, you know, let's take this build into 21st century. Although we are in 21st century. As much as I love my previous electronics in the car, this is definitely a new step up. So, so we have Elite 1500. This ECU is perfect for my needs. It will run four cylinder engine. Well, it will run more than that. I mean, the full spec of this ECU can be found on Haltech's website. Go and check it out because the list is way too long for me to go into detail what this can do. Um, but this is not their lowest and this is not their highest. I think the highest is obviously the R5. Nexus R5, which is completely different level. We don't need that. R3, uh, which is supposed to be released. And if you've seen a video on uh, Mighty Car Mods, I think they were using the R3. That's the first pre-production version or something like that. So it, we're expecting, expecting good things in a couple of months. Next thing on to-do list. And I actually have two of those. I mean, those boxes literally just says Haltech. I will open each one afterwards so you can see what, what's inside. Uh, so it's two of those. This is a PD16. So it's a power distribution module, 16 channels. Everything is contained, your relays, your fuses, the, the lot, and it's all CAN based. So these two PDPs can be controlled by, nope, this, by three by five, um, keypad controller. You can um, have multiple keypads. I only have one because I have steering wheel controls. So one PDM is going to be controlled by the steering wheel controls like your turn signals, um, my DRS wing, which I'm not allowed to use, um, lights and a few other bits and pieces. And the rest like start the car will be controlled by this panel. Obviously with all of this goodness, you need to connected somehow. So each PDP comes with its own dedicated, dedicated wiring harness. Um, those are, can I say idiot proof? I can. They're pre-terminated. So the main plug is already attached. Your power attached, your can is attached and it comes with a massive wiring diagrams and everything. Every single wire is color coded. So what you do effectively, you plug this in, to your PDP, the other one goes into your controller and then look at the diagram, you run single wire to each component, whatever you want to do. I will be doing a full detailed video. There is going to be so many videos because obviously each one will warrant me putting it on the pegboard and measuring and stuff like that. So I'll be making a proper dedicated wiring harness. So obviously we're not just going to sort of fit this. They're going to be modified. So this one is for the PDP we have two of those they're quite quite heavy to be honest with you but we can trim them and this is the pre-terminated the same wiring harness for the elite 1500 ecu again two plugs already attached and cool thing most of the wires as you can see are already even labeled like you have engine control o2 input um switch 12 volts you know 
you get the idea. So it's extremely easy. And I think those wire, the, the PDP is five meters long. I think this is two and a half meters long because obviously, well, that's more than enough, isn't it? Uh, they do have five meters if you are planning to put this in a boot and the engine is at the front or vice versa. But two and a half is more than enough for my needs. So we need to control more things. Uh, so we have single channel wideband controller. Um, there's not much to say about it. It's a wideband controller, uh, Bosch sensor. And um, yeah, this will do job absolutely perfect. Before I go into all these little things, of course, you have to see things. And this is their flagship. Well, actually, this is the only, the best IC7 display. It's, um, well, it's a display, fully digital display with lots of functions, extremely user-friendly, extremely user-friendly. Um, I've no idea how to use it yet. I'm, of course, uh, I'll read the instruction manual. And of course, there's probably plenty of videos on online how to sort of set everything up and stuff like that. I've seen some cool stuff where people put um, different sort of pictures and videos on, on a startup, you know, a little if you know what i mean um i don't know if i want to be this naughty but this thing is absolutely amazing i believe it's seven inches in diagonal so it's um uh, very big easy to attach and everything and it will come with a wiring harness i believe which is on the inside you see why i'm so happy i mean haltech from the bottom of my heart thank you did not expect all of this goodness and you know you guys delivered so what else what else do we have here um this is a boost control solenoid uh, again this is your um sort of they, they're quite oh, they're all quite generic this is haltech haltech's brand uh this is a four port because we can control more things with it um then we have a host of sensors host of sensors haltech make pretty much Maybe not make, I could be, because obviously some of them are Bosch. Uh, so I, obviously they don't make Bosch, but they sell them under their brand, Bosch make it for them, or they just sort of tried and tested. Um, anyways, uh, we have a coolant temperature sensor, we have a NOx sensor, and these are extremely cool sensors. I actually didn't even know, didn't know that those existed. They're made by Bosch. This is fluid pressure and temperature sensor. So I'm gonna run one for, oil and one sensor can give you both uh, pressure and um, temperature and the reason why i'm using haltech well the reason why they want me to use Haltech because they know all of the tables all of the calibration stuff um, uh, and it will be extremely easy because we, we will know exactly exactly and i mean it and if you've watched my video channel for a long time you know i had this problem before where i had to recalibrate my sensors because sometimes different manufacturers do use different because you know they all work on different variable voltages and whatever haltech know all of the tables for there so we'll be able to literally just input those in there and we'll know that they're 100 percent accurate with pressure and temperature and this is very important and i have two of those one is going to be for fuel um for some reason i want to run fuel pressure fuel uh temperature because uh I put a radiator on uh, on my um, uh, fuel return line and a lot of people said, oh, why do you need it, whatever. But I've been reading, I've been watching videos and there is such a thing as boiling petrol, boiling gas or whatever. It usually happens on carbureted cars. It basically becomes aerated and bubbles and whatnot. And it doesn't give you enough pressure, duty cycle per given pressure because it has bubbles in it and stuff like that. So it's, it's called uh, um, fuel boiling. So... I want to sort of test this uh, theory and see how hot the fuel actually gets inside the tank because obviously my fuel tank that has been made my um, made by AH fabrications is fully enclosed in carbon and it has no airflow. So we're gonna try this again. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss all of these lovely tests. Then we have oil temperature sensor, high range, 150. Um, hmm, I'm not 100% sure why. I have both of them. I will need to speak with Haltech and see why I have this one separate, but we'll see. And we have air temperature sensor. Nice and simple. Um, two bags that came with it. And yeah, pretty much it. Guys, 
I am super excited. I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's incredible. I mean, you can probably tell that there's going to be a lot of work for me in the future to install this all, but the user guides, the information online on Haltech is just in abundance. There's so much of it. So it would be fairly easy, I would say. I mean, I've done it before, so I can definitely do it again, but because everything is the same brand, everything talks to each other via can, can leads. So it's, it's got to be a breeze, I hope, to connect everything as long as we find the, uh, the location for each uh, thing and then the, or as long as all the wires are going to the right place. The setting all of this up should be fairly, fairly easy. All right, long enough for this video. This was a simple announcement of a new sponsor for 2023. The main sponsor, Haltech. Guys, thank you very much for providing me with all of this, your support and your trust in me. And I hope... Uh, we're gonna do great things guys thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe to this channel click like and also that little bell icon click it because whenever my new video is uploaded if you don't have that bell icon you might miss it and you don't want to miss what is coming i'll have a few more announcements uh, very shortly uh, we have about six weeks to finish the car yes i know <sighs> wish me luck and i'll see you in the next one bye bye